Hey guys, it's Lucy Kate and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Yes, we are dressed very casually today. I'm wearing glasses. I don't think I ever wear glasses on my YouTube video. I'm wearing no makeup today, just eyebrows. It's just one of those days I don't feel like wearing makeup. I've been wearing makeup every day. Today I'm filming this the day after Christmas and I've just been so tired. So yes. Here is no makeup me. Um, today is going to be part two of my makeup collection video. I believe I already uploaded my eyeshadow cut palette collection video and today was supposed to be all the rest of my makeup but I decided to make it into three parts because I realized I actually have quite a big lipstick collection. So today is going to be part two, all my complexion products, single eyeshadows, everyday makeup and in part three which I'm going to post I believe this week or next week I'm going to show you guys my lipstick collection which is bigger. So seeing as I'm not going to be on camera much, I'm here dressed very casually with no makeup because you're not going to see my face until the end of the video. So before I show you guys my collection, if you're not already, I'd really appreciate it if you could go subscribe to my YouTube channel as I try to upload every week. And also just a disclaimer, this is not a declutter video. I will declutter one item and that is all. So yeah, if I do accumulate loads of makeup in the future, if I do want to do a whole full on declutter, but for now it's just showing you guys my collection. So without further ado, let's take a look at my makeup collection. To begin with, I'm going to show you just my everyday makeup and then we'll take a look at my other stuff. I don't want to show you all my skincare products because this is mainly makeup, but just two products that I use every day are these two right here. So first of all, this is the Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water. I've been through countless bottles of these. I've used loads of different versions, but I just use this to remove my makeup and I just use it to kind of like clean my face. So I use this every day. As you can see, I only have a little left. So this is my current facial toner. This I got from Whole Foods. It's Tires, I believe is the brand name, and it's Witch Hazel Aloe Vera Formula. At first, I didn't like this because my skin wasn't really used to it, but after using it for so long, it's actually turned out to be a really good toner. It's gluten-free, alcohol-free, paraben-free, and yeah, so I, I'd really recommend this toner. Um, for foundation, I actually have only one foundation, so I'm not the type to stock up on cream products. I the things that I tend to suck up on are eyeshadow palettes because I like collecting them, lipsticks, and then complexion things like cheeks and so on. So when it comes to foundation, I usually only have one or two in stock and I apologize for my dog. He's been sneezing and barking, and <laughs> making so many noises. So this is the current foundation I'm using. This is the Wet n Wild Foundation Photo Focus in the matte formula. And I used to use the Wet n Wild photo focus. I think I used a dewy one though because I've been using this matte one and to be honest I have I have been hating this. I really don't like this. I don't know if it's because my skin's changed or if it's because of this product but this has been not doing any good on my skin. So recently I don't like applying foundation so I am gonna need to get a different one. This just does not do well with my skin. Um, another thing that I have on the countertop that I can just quickly grab to show you is um, a powder. This is a face powder, loose face powder. This is from the 100 yen store in Japan. This is a translucent loose face powder. Um, I just have this out here so I can use it um, anytime I want really quickly. Another two things that I have out in the open are my setting sprays. I really need to get a new tripod because it keeps on collapsing. So another two things I have on the countertop is my two setting sprays. So these are from You Can Be. So first of all, we have the original setting spray. This is the matte setting spray. And I think I've use about half of it maybe. Sorry for my chapped manicured nails. Um, second setting spray, the new setting spray that I kindly received as PR from them is their new version. This one is a dewy and bright makeup setting spray. Um, really love this one because this is actually scented. Love the packaging. So yeah, I use both of these on a regular basis depending on what kind of finish I want or what kind of face products I am using. So finally for makeup that is on my countertop, I'm going to show you my pouch which has all of my everyday makeup inside. So this is just a pouch that I received from NYX. I was invited to one of their opening parties in Japan and I was gifted this pouch. And inside here is the makeup that I use on an everyday basis. So this is the stuff that I have that I just 
I just put it all in here so I can just pull it out if I'm in a brush. So in no particular order, let's take a look at them. Um, let's see, for basics, we have this concealer and this powder right here. This Wet n Wild Mega Less Incognito Concealer I use every single day. Um, it's such a reasonable price. I do have two or three in stock, I believe. And then for powder, I do have my loose powder, but I also like to use just a regular finishing powder. This is the Wet n Wild Bare Focus Clarifying Finishing Powder. As you can see, I've hit pan, and I'm gonna need to buy a new one soon. Um, next up, we have, um, for highlighter, we have this highlighter right here. This is my OG favorite highlighter. I've been for three or four of these, um, and I also hit pan recently. This is the ColourPop Flexitarian Highlighter. Still, to this day, this is my favorite highlighter ever. Let's take a look at some cheap cheek products then. First of all, we have two cream products inside here, which I barely use, to be honest. So we have this cream cheek product, and um, the lid is kind of broken. This is um, also 100 yen store from Daiso. This is a stick cheek. It's just a regular pink product. I don't really use this that much anymore, to be honest. And then in here we have, this is also the Japan 100 yen Daiso store cream bronzer stick. And this one, I actually used up all of it. So I do need to trash this. You know what? I only have this much left and I am showing my makeup collection to you guys today, but if there's anything I wanna declutter, I'm gonna declutter. So you know what? I think I'm gonna declutter this because I can't even use this anymore. I struggled using it last time, so you know what? Goodbye to this. Remaining things we have, this is a MAC Cheek. This is unfortunately the only MAC Cheek I have. I used to have more MAC products, but I did use them all up. Um, MAC used to be like my go-to brand. You know, when I was a teenager, it was a brand that I really looked up to. You know what? I don't even know what the shade is anymore because it's disappeared, but it's this, I'm pretty sure it's called Into the Glow, but it's this beautiful pink shimmery cheek. I really, really love this. And even though I, I received this as a birthday present a few years back, and I even though I use it so much, I still haven't hit pan. I think the pricing is good for MAC because they last a long time and are good quality. Um, another thing I received, this I received in 2023, which is still this year, but by the time you guys see this, it'll be the new year. Um, this is my first product from the brand Flower Nose. I always wanted to use Flower Nose. So I'm really happy to receive this. This is the Chocolate Shop series. I believe this one is number, yeah, shade number two in the chocolate series. This one is in Japanese packaging because it's from Japan, but there used to be this really cute embossing on it, but because I've been using it so much, it's disappeared, but it's the perfect matte bronzer for me because I do have um, very pale skin. Three more cheek products in here I'd like to show you. These are all from the 100 yen store in Daiso. You remember I used to do loads of hauls and videos of this makeup and these three I brought from Japan. This one right here I've practically used all of it because this used to be my go-to bronzer before I had this. So this is in the shade number three just in case you guys are interested and as you can see I've used up nearly all of it. The other two are two pink shades, and these two are kind of dupes for the MAC shade, if you look at them. They give a kind of similar finish. So this one is a marbleized formula in the shade PK1. This one is a marbleized formula. And then the other one is just a regular pink color in the shade 01. But they're really cheap and the quality is really good. So I highly, highly recommend you guys get 100 yen store makeup from Japan if you visit Japan. So we have a few more products inside here. So let's take a look. Okay, so we have five more products. So next up we have an Urban Decay single eyeshadow. I don't really own many single eyeshadows to be honest. You guys all know that I'm a palette person. I posted my eyeshadow palette collection video the other day, but it's good to have singles when you're in a rush. So whenever I'm in a rush, I just wanna slap on an eyeshadow. This is the shade that I use. It's in the shade Baked, I believe. And I've actually hit pan on this, as you can see. It's a beautiful gold shimmery shade. Um, next up, we have a eyebrow gel. I've used about half of this. I don't use this anymore, to be honest. It's like an eyebrow coat. It's kind of stained from when I used to use it, but you just apply this and it's like a gel to keep your eyebrows staying all day. But as I said, I've hardly used this anymore. I don't know why it's in my everyday makeup pouch. Last three items are eyeliners. 
So this one is from the brand VT. I don't really know what this brand is, but it's like this silver eyeliner and I have it in here for when I do like Asian makeup to put in my tear duct. The last two are my everyday black eyeliners. So this one is my, for when I want to do winged eyeliner, I use this one. This is the e.l.f. Uh, regular black eyeliner. I've been using this for so, so many years now. And then the other one is just a regular eyeliner felt tip pencil. And I've actually nearly used up all of this, but I do have a spare one, which you will see later. This is also from the 100 yen Daiso store in Japan. And as you can see, I have all my everyday makeup in this pouch, but I don't have any mascara. And the reason why is I literally just used up my favorite mascara of 2023, the ColourPop BFF mascara. So I'm using different ones now. I just wanted to show you the mascara that I'm using now. So this is actually a two pack mascara set from You Can Be. This was also received as PR from them. And basically there's two mascaras inside here. One of them is waterproof and one of them is not. So they look like this. This is the waterproof one. So I just use these every day nowadays. If I'm completely honest, they're not my favorite, favorite mascaras, but um, they, do its, they do its job. They're just, you know, average mascaras basically. And I do have one single eyeshadow. I'm pretty sure I had more, but I apparently only have one. So this is a single eyeshadow from ColourPop. This is in the Animal Crossing series. This is a super shock shadow in the shade Balloon Pop. It's a really beautiful shadow. And to be honest, I, I bought the Animal Crossing collection for collection purposes, but when it comes to Super Shock Shadows, I don't want to open it because I don't want to like waste its glory, but when it comes to Super Shock Shadows, the quicker you use them, the better because the quality does go down once you open it once. So I'm thinking, you know, there's no point keeping this as a collection forever. I have the eyeshadow palettes. So I think I'm going to try and start using this once my Urban Decay has started to run out more. And then for more ColourPop stuff, um, we have these two cheek products right here. I think these are the only two cheek products I own from ColourPop. Again, this is another Animal Crossing collection. I don't usually buy loads of stuff from collections, but when it came to Animal Crossing, I just had to because Animal Crossing is my childhood game. I mean, I already said that in my previous video, but I just love it so, so much. So I had to get it. I love the ColourPop cheek products because they come with a mirror really good quality and this is a orangey cheek and as you can see I've hardly used this but again do I need to keep these forever I mean I should have why I should have palette wise I do want to keep that forever because it has the cute characters on it but I think I should start using this the next one I finally started using this last year this is the Colourpop and Hello Kitty and Friends collab it's so gorgeous this cheek product I had it for a long time and I never used it because the packaging is so cute and inside it's even more cuter you have Hello Kitty on the actual product itself so so cute again it has a mirror and the Hello Kitty face I actually believe it or not have been using this I started using it last year from my cold girl makeup video and since then I've been pulling it out every now and then but yeah I just I don't want to ruin this design but I think for Animal Crossing cheek wise this one doesn't really have any cute designs inside it apart from a flower so I think I'm going to try and start using this other complexion things that I brought I have five more things I'd like to show you next up is this one so this is a Chanel um face powder and i have ne i've only used this once or twice um this is probably the only chanel no i have a chanel lipstick too but i don't own that much high-end makeup anymore um i received this as a graduation gift when i graduated university this is basically a face powder oh it's this way it comes with the brush and this is what it looks like inside. It's this really luminous, gorgeous face powder. So you know what? I should use this. Like there's no point just keeping it here forever. So I'm gonna try and start using up all these complexion products that I've kept. Um, next up we have a BH Cosmetics blush. So this is a floral blush. I got this in sale for like three or four dollars or something. I got this shade because it said Honolulu Hideaway and funnily enough, I live in Honolulu now. And this one is cute. It's two different colors. So you can like mix them and use them or use them separately. They have a shimmer to them. It also has a mirror. So yeah, this one is also really cute cheek product but at the end of the day I do like these cheek products and these like packages but at the end of the day the single blushes the small ones that I showed you earlier in my pouch are just way more easy to use on a daily basis I guess this one right here was on my wish list for such a long time when I was a teenager it's a it's the unicorn's heart rainbow highlighter 
from, I believe this is Makeup Revolution, right? Oh no, it's I Heart Makeup, but I believe it's the same company as them. Like this was really popular in like 2014, 2015, I think it was on like Instagram and Pinterest. And I just really wanted to get my hands on it, but it was hard to buy in Japan. And then I found it in Japan and I decided to buy it. I've never used this, which is such a waste. So, you know what, 2024 is the year I'm gonna start using all of these cute makeup products. So it's so cute. I, they used to have loads of like baked blushes, baked bronzers. I'm not sure if they do these anymore, but to this day, it's still really cute. It's this rainbow highlighter. To be honest, is this the shade that I'm gonna be using every day as a highlighter? No, I got this because it's so cute. This is what it looks like. And oh, actually it's a really nice glowy color. So yeah, I should definitely use this. This is the Unicorn's Heart Highlighter. Um, two more complexion palettes, compacts. This one I do not like and I'm contemplating decluttering it. This one I also got in the sale because I used to order from Beauty Bay a lot when I lived in Japan because it's pretty hard to buy foreign makeup. We don't have, you know, places like Target or Walmart where I can buy all the makeup brands that I like, the drugstore brands. So I got this on the website because it was on sale. Didn't really think much about the color and it's too deep for my complexion. So this is a blush lighter in the shade Flash Me. So the left side is supposed to be a highlighter. The right side is a blush. Obviously, you can just tell that the left side highlighter is no way a highlighter for my skin tone. So this one I tend to use more for like eyeshadow. The right blush I do like, but a little goes a long way. So I'm contemplating on whether to declutter it or not. I don't know, but then again, the gold is a really nice gold, which I can use as an eyeshadow. You know what, this is gonna be my maybe pile, so I can come back at the end of this video, or maybe just update you guys at, when editing to see whether I decluttered this or not, because I don't think I have a need for it. But at the same time, I don't wanna trash it. This is the problem with me, I can't trash stuff. And then one more palette I have right here. This is a, a full-on palette. So to be honest, I should have showed it in my eyeshadow palette because this is an eye and cheek palette. This is from Laura Mercier. And it looks like this. So this is an old collection. Let's see what the name is. It says it's a candle glow luminizing palette. So it's eye and highlighter palette. I bought this in Japan and it looks like this. So it has a mirror inside it and it has six shades, very basic, very basic shades to be honest. Um, yeah, so these two shades are highlighters. The top four can be used on your eyes, but they can also be used as inner corner highlight or highlight. And to be honest, I should start using this more too. Wow, I was just thinking, you know, I'm hitting pan on my BH Cosmetics highlighter palette. I was thinking, you know, what highlighter should I use next? Or well, here's my answer, no need to buy <laughs> new highlighters. So that's about it for compacts, I think. Next, we're gonna look at the some Japanese beauty products and some stock ups of some essentials that I have. I found two more Super Shock shadows in my collection, which I knew I had and I just couldn't find them. They came out. Um, these are the two Super Shock shadows. This one right here is the one I was going to talk to you guys about. This was also my everyday Super Shock shadow back in the day um, until I used it up. So this is a spare one. I believe this is still unopened to this day, but this is the Super Shock shadow in I Heart. This, I'm not sure if they still sell this anymore, but this is my goal. To. So for me, I like to have some shimmer in the tear duct, especially if you like doing Korean and Japanese like cute makeup looks and you want to put some silvery eyeshadow in your tear duct. Really recommend this. So this is really good for Asian beauty looks as well. Love this. It's a gorgeous silver shadow. The second Super Shock shadow that I had is this one right here. This one was in the collection with NKLA. They used to do these collabs every year during the Christmas time. And so I think all the, all of it or the percentage of the sales go to the animal shelter. And being a dog lover myself, I just had to get one to show my support. And also it was a really cute color and I love the shade name. This is called Puppuccino. And it's actually very similar to that Urban Decay shadow that I just showed you guys. Let me pull it out. I've only used this a couple of times because the case is just too cute to use, but it's a gorgeous gold shadow. Yeah, I've used it a little bit, 
Oh, it's pretty hard now. So I'm gonna need to use this. So this is what happens with super sharks. They're very soft when you first use them, but after a while they become very hard and difficult to blend. So it's better to just use them up when you can. So you know what, this is gonna be my two use pile as well. I'm gonna focus on using my super shark shadows as well this year. Let's move on to showing you guys um, some Japanese products that I received. Um, I, I know I keep saying this, but I would definitely film a makeup video in within January, so I'll put it up in February, you know, trying out all these Japanese items because I still haven't managed to try them. So right here we have a Idate. This is a new collection in collab with Tokyo Girls collection that they have been doing recently. And apparently this is a lip care oil. It's in this really cute heart container. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm just, like I said, I'm just gonna briefly go through these because, you know, I'm gonna do a full on dedicated review to them. Um, in February, I guess. So the next one also from Irate is a liquid eyeshadow. And this is in the shade 01. It's a brown glittery shade, but for some reason it looks a little green on the camera. It's like a green gold shade, I'm guessing. So yeah, we have this one right here. Next up, we have two highlighters. Yeah, two highlighters. So these are also another brand from the 100 yen shop in Japan. These are both highlighters. Apparently they're creamy highlighters. So we have 01, which is a light gold, and 02, which is a light coral. These look so gorgeous as well. So I'm really looking forward to using them. We have some mascaras. These used to be my go-to mascaras when I was like in my early teens in Japan, like 12 to 14 years old. It's from the brand Canmake. So Canmake is a really popular drugstore brand in Japan. And their mascara is about 500 to 600 yen, I'm guessing. Oh, they put the price up. When I was in my early teens, this used to be like 500 to 600 yen, but you know, like everything goes up. This one is 660 yen and this one is 748 yen, but still that's so cheap. Like, especially with the current dollar yen rate, you could get this for like $4.50, $5, I'm guessing. Yeah, so this one right here is Goku Buto. This used to be my favorite one. So this gives you volume, but at the same time gives you like a curl. And then this one right here is long mascara. So this gives you more of a length while keeping a curl. So I'm so, so looking forward to these. And then three more things from Japan. Um, these three are all stock ups of items that I used to have. So this one, first of all, is the liquid eyeliner that I showed you guys in my everyday pouch. This is a backup one. Next up, we have two eyebrow products. These two I used up before, so these two are also backup. So we have an eyebrow pencil right here in the shade Natural Brown. And then this is an eyebrow powder with a mirror and a brush, and it comes with three shades. And this is in the shade number two, Natural Brown. Okay, so next up, I have three Korean products I'd like to show you, and they are right here. So here we have them. So these were also all gifted to me. So this is from the brand Rom and I believe this is a pretty popular brand on Yes Style as well. And this is a glassy eye glitter. Um, I think I've only used this once or twice to be honest, um, but it looks like this. It's a really cute um, shimmery shade. So it looks like this and it gives you like a wet finish. So really good for the, you know, Korean style, Asian style, cute looks. The last two products are from Etude House. Etude House has got to be my favorite Korean makeup brand. It's just so reasonable, but such good quality. So this is a bling bling eye stick. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. I can't find the shade number, but it's like this brown, basic brown shade. It's like a creamy eyeshadow stick and you roll it up like this. Really, really love this as well. I've used this one quite a bit actually. And then finally, we have this right here. This is a Tia Eye Liquid. This was a collab with BT21. I'm not really interested in it, but um, it was cute and I received it as a present. And it looks like this. So Tia Eye Liquid. So this is basically for the Tia Duct to add like some white shimmer in the corner of in the inner corner of your eye, which is very much the makeup style for Japan and South Korea. So it looks like this. And then finally, I'm gonna show you guys um, some random, <laughs> some random remaining products. We had a primer. So I actually had a wet and wild photo focus face primer in the sh in matte. I don't know when I bought this. I used to use this a lot and I stopped using it, but I think there's still quite a bit inside. Um, another Wet n Wild product is a backup of the concealer that I just showed you. I always have a backup of this. This next thing is Cetaphil Gentle Skin Cleanser. I should use this. I actually got this as a tester 
and I was saving it for when I go on vacation but I don't really go on vacation because <laughs> I don't like leaving my dog so you know what I should just use this sample up so I think I'm gonna put this in the open so I can use this anytime and we also had a backup mascara this is essence lash extension mascara I should try this out as well you know but I think I'm gonna use up the you can be mascaras first and then try this one out speaking about you can be the last two products I want to show you are from the you can be brand um, first of all right here this was also PR the last two products are going to be PR this is the metallic satin liquid makeup pen that I was kindly gifted from you can be it has three metallic finishes inside um, I'm not gonna open it up but one is silver one is blue and one is purple all metallic finishes and I did post a YouTube video which I'll put up right here um, trying out eyeliner looks with each one to be honest I don't really pull it out that much because I don't really do colored liner or graphic liner but it's good to have in my collection and then finally this was my first PR from you can be this is a eyebrow stamp stencil kit I'm too lazy to pull it all out but basically it includes stamps stencils 20 stencils a jewel ended brush eyebrow razor and finishing powder so you can stamp your eyebrows I think this was popular on TikTok apparently before I'm not on TikTok but yeah apparently this was a popular product so yeah this was this is also convenient to have in my collection as well it was fun to try out I do also have a YouTube video reviewing this so that was my entire makeup collection um I was planning on showing my lipsticks in this video, but I realized that I actually have loads and loads of lipsticks. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna do a third and final part where I show my whole lipstick collection. I believe I have over 40 lipsticks or even 50. So definitely look forward to that. Um, as you can see, my makeup collection isn't that big, I'd say. When it comes to cream products, everyday makeup products, I don't really have that many spares. I tend to just use one at a time, but I did notice looking at my collection today that I have loads of highlighters and cheeks so I'm definitely going to start to try and use more of them because it's a waste keeping of my collection so the only thing I decluttered today was this cream contour right here but in the future if my collection gets bigger I of course do want to do a full-on declutter but when it comes to powder products I believe that they last longer so um, yeah I'm going to try and start using more of them so if you enjoyed this video, definitely give it a thumbs up and stay tuned for my next lipstick collection video, which will be up probably this week or next week, depending on the schedule. And if you're not already, definitely hit the subscribe button because I aim to post nearly every weekend. So thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you in my next makeup collection video. Bye guys.